When at CES 2025, one of our channel sponsors, Geekom, happened to be there. So I went over to their booth to do a little bit of sponsored coverage. So that is what this video is. With a main focus on their Geekom QS1. Apparently, this is the world's first Qualcomm powered mini PC. But of course, they had way more than just that. They had their entire lineup of mini computers to go ahead and check out, play around with, so on and so forth. They had a few different budget models there with kind of uh, older generation AMD CPUs. I already have this guy right here. This is the GT1 Mega. This was on display there. This is their highest powered Intel based computer. I have a whole separate video on this guy. It has a TPU in it, so you can use it for AI and whatnot. But what was really cool is they had the AMD variant of this computer there, specifically the Geekom A9 Max. Two different options, both the Ryzen AI 9HX, whether that be the 365 with 10 cores or the 370 with 12 cores. The IO on that machine is basically the exact same as this one. A bunch of USB A's on the front, but where it truly shines is the dual 2.5 gigabit ethernet on the back. So it brings up a whole lot of use cases for uh, home lab stuff. Here on Tarm's hardware, we could kind of see what's going on with the uh, scores of this chip here. Almost 3000 on the single core score and then almost 15,000 on the multi-core score. So pretty powerful computer that we got going on here. Now, of course, the main star of the show, and unfortunately, uh, this was one of the devices I didn't get a hands-on with. It is very new. Hasn't even been released yet. And again, that is the Geekom QS1, their ARM computer. This having the Qualcomm Snapdragon X Elite X1E-8, 80-100, 12 cores with a range, a uh, speed range of 3.8 to 4.2 gigahertz. Now, I wonder what the Geekbench scores are, which we can see right here. This is obviously not my test. It's not even a test on this specific computer, but this is a general Geekbench score for a machine running this processor. And we have pretty high scores for an ARM CPU. We have 2,700 single core score and 13,000 multi-core score. I am currently running the M4 new uh, Mac mini computer. And we can see here, it's not quite there in comparison, but these uh, Snapdragon chips and non-Apple chips in general are getting pretty close to Apple Silicon. So on the Geekum QS1, we do have some key features here to go over. It does have fingerprint on the power button. Comes with Windows 11 Pro. It says digital microphone, and actually you can see on the front, it has all these dots here. All of those are microphones, so it's gonna be fun to actually test the audio quality when I get my hands on one. Of course, it has the Snapdragon CPU. It does support up to three 4K displays with Qualcomm's Adreno GPU. It does have a MPU with 45 tops. Supports up to 64 gigabytes of dual channel DDR5 memory, and it does have Wi-Fi 7 support with Bluetooth 5.0. As far as the I.O. is concerned, we do have two USBs on the front, headphone jack, power, SD card on the side. I don't have the footage on me right now, but this is the back of the computer so you can see all the different I.O. and ports that they have there. So with that, CES was really fun, especially in the time that I spent checking out the uh, Geekom booth. All the staff and everybody there was wonderful, friendly, very helpful in all the questions and everything that I had. So again, big thank you to Geekom for uh, not only inviting me, but for sponsoring this video to kind of help me get to CES and uh, cover those travel expenses. With that, do subscribe because I'm going to have a full CES kind of roundup video covering everything I saw there that I thought was interesting. So subscribe so you do not miss that. And I will be linking down below to any information or anything that I can uh, put down below in regards to like their ARM computer, their super high power Ryzen machine, or even their super high power Intel mini PC that we have here. So again, I hope you have an absolutely beautiful day and good bye.